I'm back in the UK, which is okay because the weather's not that bad and I've missed a cup of tea. In this video, you're going to see what it's like for a week in the life of a tattoo artist. I'd like to welcome you to my tattoo studio. My studio is based in Suffolk near Cambridge. It's just me here, a private studio located above Lynx Gym. Today I'm carrying on a sleeve which combines Greek and Norse mythology. This is a Valkyrie warrior which is going to go on the inside of the bicep. I'm using an app called Procreate on the iPad. I'm exporting the image here to create my stencil. I use an app called My Sketch. I will import the image into there and click on the photocopy filter. Use that filter and save the image. Then it's just a case of exporting that image and putting it back into Procreate on a new layer and duplicating the layer and putting it as a multiply which ups the contrast and I have my stencil. It's worth mentioning that I don't always use this method. Sometimes I will create a new layer on Procreate and directly draw over the image, identifying the blacks with hard lines and dots for the different types of shades. So this is the sleeve I'm working on. At the bottom, we have a Viking warrior walking up the stairway to Valhalla. And at the top, we have a Zeus holding the infamous lightning bolt. So, I'm applying the stencil. I'm just marking out how the lightning's gonna tie in with the sleeve with a skin marker, as well as where I'm gonna shade up to. I always use paper towel to dry the stencil quicker. So my clients already looked at the design in the mirror. We're both happy and it's time to tattoo. I've just started with outlining and putting some black shades in. I can tell that this is a painful spot and I'm not aiming to finish this today. So the goal is to not lose the stencil and just get the outlines in there as well as some shades so I've got some good structure for the following session. You can see the wolf healed up really nicely. We did that in one session last time. We have a gap to the left of the wolf so we're going to tie that in with some lightning and trees and a moon which will look cool. I was getting tattooed on the inner bicep, mate. <laughs> Fucking awful. <laughs> So it's Tuesday, another day in the office. My client proposed to his fiance. I'm designing a tattoo around the proposal. He did it in London. We wanted to incorporate a couple of famous landmarks in London, as well as the location where he proposed. So I started out lining all of the tattoo with my lightest gray wash and a black with a nine and five round liner. Once the outline's in, I'm using a seven curved mag and a nine round liner to pack in the solid black. I'm then using a seven mag and a 13 curved mag to do some shading. I'm using a gray wash setup with two drops of gray opaque and one drop of white. This tattoo is not finished. I didn't feel it was right to rush the tattoo to get it finished in one session. So he's gonna come back and we're gonna add some more details. So that's the day over. Time to stretch, hit the gym, and eat some food and sleep. It's Wednesday and today I'm designing a tattoo for my client's sleeve which will fit the outer arm from the shoulder down to the elbow. This design represents different family members which is sentimental to my client. It's always a good day when I get to tattoo a portrait. So it's time to apply the stencil. I'm using a product called Stencil Stuff which I apply to the skin then add the stencil onto it. The stencil is not big enough to fit the top of the arm, so I'm freehanding some of the top and we decided to add a sun with some rays. 
It fits and works with the arm nicely because he has quite a large shoulder, so I didn't want the portrait to be too high and risk being distorted by the muscle. I'm putting some solid blacks in first, outlining key features like eyes, nose, outlining the daisies. I'm using a 13 and 27 mag for the face to do the smooth shading. It's important to get your blacks in first before they potentially get muddied up by lighter tones as you're dipping into the different ink cups. I'm using a combination of a grey wash and using opaques to shade with for this tattoo as I feel it has a smoother finish. We got a lot done in one session and this will need a touch up at the top to add more clouds and contrast. But I'm happy with what we got done so far and I'm excited to finish the sleeve. I thought it would be useful to show you guys how I set up every morning. Everything needs to be cleaned down in the morning and after the tattoo with disinfective wipes. Once that's dry, I will cling film the entire station. I'm using distilled water in one squeezy bottle, distilled water mixed with green soap in the other one. Nice bit of Vaseline with a disposable wooden tongue. God knows how many razors I go through. I wish clients would shave themselves. My machine is cleaned with an ultrasonic cleaner and wrapped in plastic and tape. So I'm just sorting out what needles I need for the day. I use JC Only brand. They're great and they sponsor me. So big up JC Only. Paper towels, they're essential. I'm using some color today. So I use Eternal Ink and for the black I use Dynamic. So today I'm finishing off this realistic Hanya color tattoo. It has some traditional Japanese elements to it like the waves because he has some traditional Japanese on his lower arm and I wanted it to all kind of blend in as a sleeve. I started the day by making sure the black was nicely saturated from the previous session, then working to some dark to mid opaque greys. I then worked on the rope which had some dark blues, some blacks and some light blues. I'm using a 14 brown shader, a 13 curve mag and a 7 curve mag. I just touched up some areas with some crimson red and some light red. Lastly, it was time to work on some goldish yellow brown tones in the teeth and eyes and horns. And then finally, I finished the tattoo with some white highlights, which really made it pop. When tattooing colour especially, I'm keeping my machine at a specific angle which helps saturate the skin. So here's the finished tattoo. Just giving it a little wipe down with some cold water to help reduce the swelling and get rid of that excess ink. Me and my client were both really happy with the end result. So this took two sessions in total, around eight hours work. Friday baby, you! So today I'm filling the gaps on my client's shoulder and tying it in with the chest. I designed some symmetrical filigree to fit the gaps on the shoulder. It's always tricky doing a symmetrical design and requires a lot of patience. I started off by outlining the filigree putting some blacks in and then working my way through my grey wash from dark to light as I go through the tattoo. My client has a very high pain threshold and can sit there like a champ, that's always helpful. So here's the finished tattoo, the shoulders have tied in nicely with the chest and it's all symmetrical on both sides. I've been tattooing Eddie for years now and we're both really happy with the projects we've done. The next project we're going to do is his leg sleeve. I am buzzing today because it's Saturday, last day of tattooing and I get to tattoo this joker piece.
which is awesome. I love doing pieces like this. Anything portrait related, send it my way. So we put on the stencil first try and it fitted the arm nicely. This is a continuation of a sleeve we're working on. Yeah, you can see the joker here. I've outlined it all and I've put in some solid blacks and my darkest gray wash. I've outlined it with a nine round liner and a seven curve mag to pack in the smaller blacks. Once all the blacks are in and the darkest tones, I've then worked my way from the bottom to top, just adding mid to light tones, having a little break, coming back to it, seeing what I can add again, just making it perfect. I run my machine pretty low, so it doesn't cause much trauma to the skin and it allows me to go over the same spot. And you can see me saving those lovely whites till the end which every client obviously loves. So here's the finished tattoo. It took about four hours and yeah, I'm happy with it. There's some nice contrast there. I look forward to carrying on the rest of the sleeve. I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. Pretty hectic week. Most of my weeks tattooing are like this. It's not just tattooing, it's the designing outside of it. You've got to love this career if you really want to um, be a professional artist and be booked up, because it's full on. <laughs> and I love it, so it's all good. I'm by no means the best tattoo artist. I'm sure there's techniques that I need to improve on, but um, I definitely try my best and do my best, and I'm always trying to learn, and I think that that's the best perspective that you can have in this industry so yeah thank you for watching subscribe